is Aretha doing? Aretha's doing all right. Aretha Franklin, simply known as the Queen of Soul, tapped Jennifer Hudson to play her in a biopic. And now that respect is about to hit the theaters. Hudson is breathing a sigh of relief. And respect. <sighs> I feel like I've been holding my breath for 15 years, okay? <laughs> And it's, it's different phases of it. Like, it's exciting, but it, it gives me anxiety at the same time. Like, oh, God, what did I do? What's happening? Is she going to be, will she be happy? I don't know. It's a lot of emotions, but I guess because it's, it's personal to me, you know? So it hits different for that reason. Your special ring. You have a talent they call genius. The film follows the ups and downs of the legendary singer's life from her childhood to the recording of a critically acclaimed gospel album, Amazing Grace. I felt like her presence all the time, and I still do. You know, I really do. Like, yes. What I want to sing. Okay. Amazing Grace was the highest selling album of Franklin Story's career and the highest selling gospel album of all time. She was just 29 when she recorded the project. Hudson says working on the film has inspired her to get back to the studio and she's ready in a new music. Aretha Franklin didn't choose Jennifer just because she can sing all those notes. There's a humanity that Jennifer brings. There's a vulnerability and a strength that mirrored Aretha Franklin. And I just kept on thinking when I was shooting and, and as we, Jen and I were working that, you know, Aretha really knew herself. You know, she really knew what was needed to um, hit those highs, emotional highs and lows. Um, because Jennifer has had tragedy in her life the same that way that she's had triumph like Aretha. And she's able to do you know, to kind of like go into all of the corners and all of the bright spaces. The film Respect hits US theaters this Friday and UK theaters September 10. I need a change. I want